Heidi Ho Candroids, it's me again, and today I have another contact lens haul review to do. This time it is yellow and gold lenses, which I'm super excited about because that is my favorite color of contact lens to wear. I think because I'm super yellow tone, so it looks good on me, and I was Team Edward growing up, so yellow eyes holds a special place in my heart. I ordered nine pairs this time because I was so excited to do this. And yeah, um, when you order from Unixo, they send you contact lens cases for every single pair that you order, which is extremely, extremely nice of them. I have already opened one pair because I needed to wear them for an event. So I will review those first. Before I actually put anything in though, I do want to make a disclaimer and say that um, this is not a sponsored video. I am in no way, shape, or form uh, profiting off of this and neither is it unique. So I bought all of these contacts with my own money, on my own accord. All of my opinions are my own. And you can tell because if you watch the previous red and orange, which I will link here. I didn't. I did not have some very good things to say about the orange lenses. They were pretty bad. So this is totally an honest. I do have an affiliate code with Uniqso because I'm an Instagram affiliate, and I will profit off of that if you would like to help me. But that does not affect these contacts, right? So let's. Without further ado, let's get started. I also want to say a disclaimer that I'm not a medical professional, so don't actually like copy any of the stuff like the way I'm putting them in and if you've never worn contacts before don't wear makeup before putting them in the only reason I'm wearing makeup is because I don't want to be perceived without makeup by the internet and also I've been wearing colored contacts for like 12 years so do as I say not as I do and what I say is don't do anything I'm doing at all these are the sweetie queen gold color. They are about uh, $22.49. Okay, for the exact reason that I just told you guys not to do what I do, just do what I say. I just put this lens in and got mascara in the lens and it made my eye so red, but I fixed it. So again, when you put contacts in, make sure you don't have makeup on. Make sure you are clean face. But um, yes, uh, the first time I wore these, they were extremely comfortable. Here they are on dark eyes, very gold for sure. They have a really good enlarging effect, so they would be perfect for an anime cosplay. Um, they're not natural looking really at all, so they're definitely um, a little bit cartoony but they are very opaque, you know, pretty bright. I like them good. Next, we have the Sweetie Poppy Yellow. And these retail for $20.90. These are super cute and super comfortable. The limble ring is um, pretty thick, but the, the pattern on the inside, the striations of the iris are a little bit more natural than the pair last time. These are extremely cute. I really like these a lot. I think I like these better than the other pair, um, just cause the color marrying with uh, the brown underneath is uh, very pretty. I'm not sure what these would look like on lighter eyes. I think if you have blue or green eyes, the pair before would be much better for you. But if you have darker eyes, these are extremely cute. I like these a lot.
Next I have the Sweetie Signature Brown. These are also 2090. I know that the title says brown, however, in my hand and on the listing, they just look really yellow, so here's hoping that they are actually yellow. Yeah, in absolutely no universe are these brown. These are yellow, maybe even green or gray, but not brown. These are so natural. I love these. They're kind of sexy, like spooky, kind of, I don't know. The contrast between my natural eye color and this color is fucking insane. I love this. These are stunning. I, I don't even have to think about it. It's a 10 out of 10. These are so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with these. These are just, these are stunning. Yeah. I would, I would recommend these. Just fucking beautiful. Love, 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 love these. These are the Color View Fizzy Sepia Brown. In my hand, they do actually look very brown, but on the listing, they look super yellow. Uh, they're only $15.90. Um, let's pop them in, hope that they're yellow. Yeah, these are definitely yellow. They're more yellow than the last pair. Still very natural looking, like, I would, I would consider these fairly, fairly natural because they're not super bright. The limbal ring is awfully thick though, but they are like regular size. They're not circle lenses. They're like standard size. They're like kind of cloudy almost. I don't know. Maybe they're a little gray. I think they might be a little gray. Still gold though. I would, they're in the gold family for sure. Very opaque though, standing out on my brown eyes very, very well. The base solution that it comes in is not the most co comfortable. Um, most of the lenses are the Sweetie brand, which is Unique's in-house brand, like they manufacture it themselves. Whereas this is Color View brand, and I just, the solution I'm not crazy about, but it's like, obviously it's fine. You're supposed to, you're supposed to let your contacts sit up to eight hours in its own solution before putting it in your eyes. I put them in straight out of the package. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. If you do that, you can't sue me if you get eye worms or something, right? I'm, a, I'm allowed to be irresponsible with my contacts because I'm an adult, but you, it's not my fault if you get eye worms, okay? I'm just saying. But also just like the whole eye worms thing, you really have to take terrible, terrible care of your contacts for that to happen. Unixo is a website that's like accredited and it's not FDA approved because it's not an American website, but they are extremely trustworthy. They have been selling contacts for like 15 years now, I think. You're not gonna get eye worms because Unixo sent you something with eye worms in it. You're gonna get eye worms because you dropped your contacts in the mud and then decided it would be a good idea to put them back in your eyeball, right? Just be responsible. Just be responsible. Anyway, these, these are the Sweetie Hydrocore to Gylo, Giallo, Gallo. I don't know how to pronounce the shade color, but they're the most natural ones on the roster. There is no limbal ring, it is just yellow striations super excited to put these in exactly as i thought these are definitely the most natural ones out of the entire pack however they're not they're not super vibrant like you can't really super tell that i have anything in obviously they look a little different the two eyes one without and one with but they just still kind of look brown from really far away. You have to really be up in some lighting for them to look gold or yellow. I would say these are more hazel. These are definitely more of a hazel color, possibly. Yeah. They're comfortable, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. 
there are people out there in the world who don't want to look like an anime or a video game character all the time, so I get the appeal. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to reach for these again. The, I'm, not, I'm not really crazy about these. Just in my personal opinion, you know. They're fine. You know, they're fine. It's okay. It's, it's fine. It's whatever. Next are the Sweetie Crazy Lens in Avatar. I think these are literally just a yellow limbo ring. I think this is going to be a really interesting effect. I'm super excited. These retail for $20.90. Hmm. They're definitely weird. They're definitely crazy, but I don't know that they're crazy enough. You know, if I'm gonna wear crazy contacts, I want them to be bonkers. Ooh, shit, I got mascara in my eye again. I think I got it out though. Anyway, these are just kind of like, I don't know, these are so underwhelming. I guess if you really, if you like the effect, good for you. They are opaque. They're just so, like, I don't know what you would use. I don't even know what you would use these for. Maybe a cat? I feel like these would look better on someone who doesn't have brown eyes. I feel like this would be a way more, this would be a cooler effect if your eyes were blue or green. Cause I just don't know that this is doing anything for me. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I like these. That's my onion and I am allowed to have that onion. These are the Sweetie Yellow Mesh and they are also 2090. These are circle lenses. They're specialty lenses and you cannot uh, see 100% out of them. Okay, these are so cool. I am a big fan of mesh lenses. I think that they just take a costume from zero to 100. They're so weird looking. So cool. I love it. They kind of remind me of a bug. So here's what's interesting about uh, mesh lenses. So if you look super close, you can see a bunch of little holes because it is literally like a mesh screen. So what it's doing is that it's fully covering my eye, but then I can kind of see out of the little holes. This style of lens reduces vision by 50-50. So pretty much what I see when I close this eye is I can see my camera, I can see myself, I can see my computer, I can see a little bit, but what it looks like is it looks like that my room is full of like um, yellow fog, like a yellow haze, like, like a smoke machine went off or something. And it's easier for me to see things that emit light. So my computer, my lamp, my ring light, it's way, way harder to see in situations where there aren't, there, where there isn't a lot of light, like a parking garage. It is illegal to drive wearing these. So these contacts are for advanced wearers only because you have to be able to put them in after your makeup is complete. Because if you're driving yourself to the event, to a party or whatever, you can't put these in until you get there. Like what I'll do is I'll get ready, drive to an event, and then put these on in the rear view mirror of my car once I park, like, and I'm done. Right, so safety first, you guys. But if you are willing and able, these are so cool. Like, I, I love mesh lenses, very cool. I'm gonna do a whole video on mesh lenses, I think. Why not? They have so many options. So I thought that I had bought nine pairs of contacts, but I'm looking at my um, invoice on Unique's website, and I actually only bought eight. And I forgot that when you buy a certain amount of contacts, they send you free things as a thank you. So I have to go look up what contacts these are so I can show you guys the free ones I got. But before I do that, I have my very last pair. These are the Makima, Ma oh my God. Balegd. Makima? Makima from Chainsaw Man. Didn't realize that these were specific characters' lenses. There's words on this. The contact lens has words on it. All right, well, I'm already disappointed. Who the fuck wants words on their contact lenses? Whatever. 
very yellow, that's why I bought them, but I'm already disappointed. Nobody wants text floating around in their eyes. It kind of ruins the effect, whatever. I'm gonna put these in. These are definitely very Halloween-y, and I guess from like so, like a like a speaking distance, you can't tell that there are words written on the contact lens. But let me see if I can show you guys. Do you see up there? There's words. I kind of just that's disappointing to me. But they're huge, and they're very spooky. So I guess if you needed them for a costume, they would be perfect. Um, I will say though, I almost can't see just as much as I could with the screen lenses in because the pupil hole is so small. I'm getting like a like an orangey yellow halo around my field of vision when I'm looking with just this eye. Huh. So yeah, there that's a that's a warning for you guys out there. Um, these are not regular contacts like you can't see perfectly out of them they they are obscuring my vision a little bit but the effect is 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 very cool i must say they kind of remind me of jigsaw maybe i don't know i've never seen a saw movie cool effect though sure why not they're not uncomfortable or anything, so if you want them, go get them. You know what I mean? I just sat and looked through 40 pages of contact lenses, and I cannot tell what they sent me. Yeah, I'm confused. They're really cute. I like them pretty good. Wish I could tell you what they were. I don't think it's either of the pairs I thought it was, though. I'm gonna go look again. I'm gonna go look again. They're really comfortable, though and uh, they show up really well on my on my brown eyes. So um, I'm gonna keep looking. Now that I know what it looks like in my eye, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look again. All right, well, that, that was everything. That was everything in my package. Um, let me know what you guys thought uh, were the best pair of contacts. I don't make any sort of profit off of this video at all because like I said, I bought all of these contacts with my own money. So if you've decided that you like some of the contacts and you'd like to get them, please use my affiliate code CAN10 for 10% off. I earn 10% commission every time somebody uses this code and it helps me buy groceries or get food at conventions. So it'd be really awesome if you helped a small artist like me. I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, you know, like the video, comment and tell me what your favorite lenses were. Um, Maybe subscribe if I helped you. I'm gonna be coming out with um, videos reviewing the rest of the colors of the rainbow, as well as mesh lenses, um, you know, things like that. If there are any contacts in specific from Unisa's website that you want me to review, please put them down below and I'll click on them and I'll see if I can put them in my cart just for you. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this far. I genuinely really appreciate it. All right, bye.